You guys want to know how I fucking feel about this market? You want to know how I feel about this fucking market? Do you want to know how I feel about this fucking market? This fucking market. You want to know how I feel? This is how I fucking feel. Fuck this market. That's how I fucking feel. Suck my dick. Stock market. Fuck you. Alright, so I gave myself a little bit of time to just think, you know, just relax. You know, I, it's a red day. It's not the end of the world. You know, it's not a, it's a bigger red day, but it's not like a huge red day. And, you know, I can make that back in one good trade. Okay, I can do that. If the market fucking lets me. Okay. But... I digress. Let's let's go watch what I did today, okay? Okay, so I'm rewatching this and I feel like I don't know. There's multiple scenarios that could have happened. I could have been spoofed. I could have just also been front running a guy that's trying to get an order and maybe he just didn't get filled and let's just find out. Okay, I'm going to play this at 1.25 speed. So, you'll see an order right here that'll be about 60,000 shares. And right when I see that order, I hit the ask, right? Because I want to get in before that guy, right? So let's let's see. See that that, that, that was the order. I don't know if you saw that or not. Right there, sixty thousand shares, right there. I saw that order. I bought on the bid because I thought he would maybe move it up, but nope. Comes right back down to where that guy's order was, right? And I sell it. Two percent loss. Pretty good loss. So I'm watching, watching. There it is. Again, right there. 58,000 share order. And immediately, right when you see this order, you can see the price skipping up, right? So I, I when I was watching this, I was like, this guy's trying to spoof everyone because I was losing money. But now that I'm re-watching it, I'm like, wait, mm, was he trying to spoof everyone or was he just trying to get filled? And we all front ran him every time he put the order in the book. And then there was no more buyers to help the run move up. So it just came right back down to test that guy, that guy's order. And there was just more sellers and buyers. It's just really not that complicated. Like, I feel like this stock went down because there was just more sellers. It's not rocket science there. So I sell at the perfect low. It goes the whole way down to 80, whatever that was, two or something. And this guy's order is gone, right? Because whenever he saw, he probably he probably put the order in. There's multiple scenarios that could have happened. Maybe he's trying to actually spoof the book, and he knows there's a lot of sellers up there. So maybe he's putting an order on the bid, and he's like, let's see if they front run me. And he puts an order out, and it jumps 16 cents a share. That's 3% extra upside that he can get on a better short position that he might be trying to short, right? So maybe he's doing that. I don't know. Maybe he's just trying to put an order in the book and he's not getting filled and we're all front running him and then he cancels his order whenever it goes to test him again because he can tell that he can't there's not even enough buyers to push it. Whenever in reality, if he would have just bought it a little higher, maybe there would have actually been some momentum, but he didn't. So flushed right through his order. His order was at like ninety six or something like that at first and six dollars. That was probably him again with 10,000 shares. I don't know. I'm leaving. I'm like, fuck this shit. I was mad. Yeah, so I was done with BKKT at that point, And I was like, well, start the day off with two pretty like low risk trades. And, uh, you know, I'm down 20 bucks already. So that's not fun. That's not a fun place to start. Not, never, you know. I like to just, you know, get a couple small wins. I like being up 20 bucks whenever the market opens and then I can push it a little or whatever. But the market's so fucking ugly right now that I have, I have no desire at all to be increasing size, adding into positions. Like, I'm not doing any of that shit. I'm scalping with one entry, one exit, quick, quick, quick moves. And if I don't see a resolution fast, I have to get out. Because it just won't work. And there's not going to be continuation. This is not 2020, 2021. You cannot just hold shit and hope that it's going to keep going up. Because it will not. Alright, well this one is, uh, you know, just a quick little fuck you by the market. You know, because I hit the bid. <laughs> and it's just perfect market timing. Just perfect. I hit the bid right when I hit the bid. 
the shit skips to 450 and I get a 450 bid fill. Look at this shit, watch. I need to turn this down. Look, I hit the bid, trying to get an entry at the bottom. I get filled at 450. From that just quick ass, like literal half a second pop. I had to have hit that at the perfect moment. Look, I'm angry as fuck. I had to get that filled at the perfect moment. To get that shitty of a fill. That was like a fucking, that was like 1% on top of the already one cent that I'm losing on slippage. It's like, whew. Yeah, I mean, there's just nothing to be trading right now. It's really just very awful, awful opportunities. No continuation. Just sketchy as shit. So sketchy. You just have to be fucking on your toes at all moments. Take your profits really quick. And if you get a win that is fucking lucky, you know it's lucky, and you got that shit, you leave. You run. Sprint. Do some other shit. Please. Because... This is not a market to just be trading over and over all, all day. If you do, you get fucking that result, okay? That's what the fuck happens. So, yeah. Good luck tomorrow. I'm going to try to just not fucking trade at all. Because I'd rather preserve my money than to have my risk reward be completely negative for a prolonged period of time. I'll, I'll lose 10, 20 bucks a day, and then I'll wake up in two months, and I'll be down like $1,000, okay? So, I'm just not going to do that. I'm not doing that. I'm going to wait. I'll sit on my fucking hands. I'll just sit here and do fucking nothing. I'll play Call of Duty. I don't give a shit. The whole point of being a trader is knowing that we are seasonal, okay? This is not a job where you think like, oh, there's 248 trading days in a year. I'm going to make $1,000 a day. I'm going to make 248 grand a year. No, it doesn't work like that. Maybe one month you make 20 grand. Maybe the next month you lose one. It's not how it works. The market will give you what it gives you when it's time. Okay, it is not the time right now. It is not the time. We all know that. So do not push it with size. Do not push it at all. We need to just sit in this calm water and just let it play out. And eventually the market's going to be fucking perfect for exactly what we need. And we will capitalize on it and make all the money that we've been losing at all this time for all this work to make nothing. Okay, that's how it works. Don't quit. Keep doing it. Keep moving forward. These days fucking suck. And this is why every really good trader always says, trading is not easy. It's very hard. And this is why, okay? Fucking come tomorrow and do it again. GG's.